Today we're kicking off uh, in the public Work Zone Safety Awareness Week, which is an opportunity to bring attention to the many hard workers and citizens of Louisiana that are out on the roads uh, daily making a difference for us and how do we protect them and keep them safe. How serious a problem is this? Well, it's a significant problem. We've had, I believe, 14 deaths last year uh, here in Louisiana uh, with accidents in work zones that uh, resulted in a death. And those aren't just construction workers, they're travelers. So this isn't a very specific issue for construction workers. It's for anyone traveling through very non-traditional and perhaps sometimes dangerous work zones that are necessary to advance a community's infrastructure. But right now, you've got a number of cones that represent deaths in work zones across the country. And those that you see here represented today are those deaths, deaths that occurred here in Louisiana uh, within work zones and again they represent not just construction workers but travelers. Good afternoon. I am Sean Wilson, Secretary of the Department of Transportation and Development for the state of Louisiana and behind me are uh, some of our safety partners and members of the House and Senate Transportation Committees. It's important to say today that Governor John Bell Edwards has declared April 11th through the 15th as Work Zone Awareness Week in Louisiana. And this year's theme is Don't Be That Driver. Work on safety, get home safely every day. It's a time to remind drivers to always be cautious and alert when driving through work zones and their everyday commutes. Joining me today, as I said, are our safety partners in our Destination Zero Deaths initiatives. Wes Bollinger, the Division Administrator for the Federal Highway Administration, John LeBlanc, Executive Director of the Louisiana Highway Safety Commission, and Lieutenant J.B. Slayton with the Public Information Office of the Louisiana State Police. And each and every one of us, in fact, are safety partners as we stand here today. We're all here today with a common goal, and that is to stress the importance of driving safely, especially through our many work zones. We believe this effort will help reduce the number of injuries and fatalities that have occurred on Louisiana's roads. For your safety, the safety of your loved ones, and the many construction workers, I ask that you please pay attention and use caution when driving through our safety zones. On the front lawn of DOTD's headquarters and behind me today, not too far from here, are cones that represent the lives of motorists or construction workers killed in work zones. It's a pretty compelling thing to see. A total of 669 lives were lost in work zones in 2014, including 13 deaths. This is an increase from the previous year by 90 fatalities, of which eight of them were deaths in Louisiana. In addition to these work zone fatalities in Louisiana, 535 individuals were injured in that same year. Since 1982, a total of 414 deaths resulted from motor vehicle crashes. What I find deeply troubling is that each of these fatalities were preventable. One life lost is one life too many. So when driving through work zones, all of us are here today to urge drivers to stay alert and give full attention to the roadway. Pay close attention to the signs and work zone flaggers. Obey posted speed limits. Avoid tailgating. As hard as some of you may find it, don't drink and drive. Wear seat belts, and most importantly, put down the cell phone and any other distraction. Through our Destination Zero Deaths initiatives, the strong partnerships that we formed with the speakers you will hear from today and those standing with us, tremendous progress has been made to improve safety on Louisiana's roads. Over the past several years, motor vehicle fatalities in Louisiana have dropped. Serious injuries have been reduced. Much of the result of that reduction, it, much of the reduction is a result of a multi-agency partnership. At DOTD, we are constantly working to improve and enhance our roadways through safety initiatives such as installing centerline rumble strips, roundabouts, and cable median barriers. In addition, we've done road safety assessment programs across the state. This is all very encouraging. However, we still have a long way to go, and it's necessary for all of us to do our part if, in fact, we are going to reach destination zero. Lastly, Respect the men and women in our construction zones. They are parents, brothers, sisters, aunts, and uncles, and they're our future. Their offices are long, busy highways and thoroughfares and are much more dangerous than many of the, the, the places that we find ourselves in office buildings. To learn more about Louisiana Highway Safety's plan and how speakers you will hear from today are making a difference in safety, we urge you to visit DestinationZeroDeaths.com. 
I'd like to thank you for being here today, and I will ask the following speakers to come and share with you what their agencies are doing to enhance safety. First, we have Wes Bollinger, the Division Administrator for the Federal Highway Administration. Thank you, Secretary Wilson, for inviting me to participate in this Work Zone Awareness event and for your continued leadership of highway safety in Louisiana. Reducing con congestion and crashes in work zones is a priority for the Federal Highway Administration here in Louisiana as well as across the country. National Work Zone Awareness Week is traditionally observed in the spring of each year to mark the beginning of the nation's highway construction season. However, in Louisiana, construction can be performed nearly year-round. Therefore, work zone safety is a concern throughout the entire year. We're doing all we can do to design, implement, design and implement safe, efficient, and effective work zones to be utilized during highway construction. Now, we need you, the traveling public, to drive in a safe and responsible manner through work zones. That means putting down uh, your cell phones, eliminating all the distractions, and paying attention to the road in front of you. With everyone's help, we can assist in reaching the goal of destination zero deaths on Louisiana's highways. Thank you. In a few moments, I'm going to recognize Lieutenant Slayton, one of our partners from State Police. As I was driving here this morning, I drove in front of DOTD and I saw the cones. And it seems like there's more there this year. I'm not sure than they were the years before, but. I recognize that, that it's not just one cone that, that was lost. Whenever someone dies, a family's affected. It brings back uh, Trooper Hung Lee, who was killed in a work zone. He was in a marked state police unit uh, in the early 2000s. He was hit from behind. He was burned, I think, over 70% of his body. And about two weeks later, he died at a burn center in Houston. Uh, he was he was young, late 20s, early 30s. He left behind a wife, child, mother, and father, and he was he could have been one of those cones. He was one of those cones that year, but the impact that he had was exponential. Five, 10, 15 people that were directly affected by that, and we need to recognize that. Uh, pay attention to the yellow vest. The, the, they're wearing them for a reason. They want to be visible. They want to be recognized. And if we can do that, then perhaps we can drive down the fatalities and the serious injuries. Uh, so I ask everybody, please be careful, wear your seat belts, don't drink and drive, pay extra attention to the work zones, and, and uh, just remember the story about Trooper Hung Lee today. At Troop B, there's still a locker there with his name on it that no one uses in remembrance of him. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of Colonel Edmondson, I want to thank Secretary Wilson for his leadership. And, uh, and our partnership, Colonel LeBlanc talked about those cones. Absolutely, one cone is, as we know, it's, it's too many. Even if there's just one cone, it's too many. And every one of those cones does represent someone's family, someone's in-laws, someone's children. It's more than just one cone. This is a community, and the bottom line is about public safety. That's why State Police has such a great partnership with DOTD and our, other, our federal and other state partners. Some of the things that State Police is doing uh, we obviously we work hand in hand with DOTD in these construction projects. These construction projects are for the public. It's to make the roadways safer for everybody. And in doing so, we have to have those construction zones, and they have to be safe, and they have to be as safe as possible. And in doing so, a lot of times you will see state police marked units out there with lights on. That's to raise more awareness while we're there. We need to be there. And if something happens, state police, we're going to be the first ones on scene. If something major happens, we're going to be the first ones there. So we, we, are, we are boots on the ground, partnership with DOT at all times. Again, echoing some of the things that have already been said, we need to limit those distractions and we need the public to be aware when entering these, these construction zones. We need to put down cell phones, we need to buckle up, we need to not drink and drive. Uh, some of the other things State Police is doing, uh, we have implemented the Traffic Incident Management System, which we call the TIMS program. And basically what it is, it's to get all first responders together. We need to educate all first responders. It's not state police trains one way, EMS trains another way. This is a program that brings us all together and, and, and educates everybody together, all the way from troopers, deputies, EMS, all the way to tow truck drivers. That way when we get on scene, we can manage the scene as quick and as safe as possible. We can clean up the scene to, to prevent 
further crashes, secondary crashes, and so far it's working. Of course, we're also working with our partners on the Strategic Highway Safety Plan. This plan is, is comprehensive, it's multidisciplinary approach to reducing those, those, those motor vehicle crashes. Uh, it's meant to discourage the impaired driving, the seat belt use, some of the things that you've already heard. And of course, state police is always in, in schools where we're going to different groups and we're always, the, the public information office which I serve, we're also take care of the education piece and we're teaching high school students, ones that are just getting their license, ones that, that they don't have the experience behind the wheel, we're teaching them about the distractions, limiting these distractions uh, from your friends, not just your cell phones, but your passengers, eating, radio, all these distractions. They're even worse when you get to a driver that doesn't have the experience behind the, the wheel. And we're also teaching them about consequences and drinking and driving and, and, and everything of those sorts, trying to make it safer for everybody on the road. So I want to thank everybody again. I appreciate the partnerships on behalf of Colonel Edmondson. We have a long-standing partnership and it will continue. State police is out there. We're doing everything we can. We'll be visible. We'll be vigilant. And we, we value those partnerships. Thank you. And, and last but not least, I'd like to just remind you that Work Zone Safety doesn't stop this week. Uh, this is an everyday responsibility for each and every one of us. And later this summer, I will trade in my orange towel, my orange tie, and get an orange vest and spend a week out on the roads with our field staff and our district staff experiencing what it's like to be out on there. And I'll invite my chief engineer and my executive counsel out there giving me a thumbs up for that because it's very important. And I believe in safety. I believe in sending everyone home the way they came and a little bit more enriched because they made a life uh, a little bit safer. So thank you all for coming. I'd like to especially thank the legislators that took time out of their legislative day to join us and stand with me for safety because it's their constituents that we're looking to protect and their employees of the state of Louisiana. So thank you, God bless you, and have a great day. And remember, ask someone else to be safe. My reaction is that this is a very important project, and uh, it's an important effort. And without these type of considerations, we can't continue to advance. One life lost is one life too many. And uh, we tell folks it's important to be safe, to uh, pay attention to the road work, pay attention to what you're doing behind the wheel, and minimize your distractions so that you can be safe and arrive alive when you get home. This is uh, Work Zone Safety Awareness, something that we do every year to try to increase awareness to protect the workers on our highways who are very vulnerable. You know, people are driving down the road in a vehicle that can weigh upwards of 2,000 pounds. And uh, last year, for instance, over 500 were injured in work zones. Uh, 13 people in Louisiana were killed in 2014 in work zones. So it's important to increase the awareness to try to drive those numbers down. And that's what we're here to do today. Now, speeding through a work zone, the fine automatically doubles. It acts as like a, a school zone anywhere where, where human life is, is, is immediately put in danger with the speeding laws. It, the fines automatically double. In a work zone, you think about it, there's no different. There's people working. They're, they're trying to make the roads safer for everybody. We're trying to expand different roadways. And, and, and the construction is all about public safety. We're trying to make the roadways public, uh, safety, safe for the public. But in doing so, these workers are put in harm's way a lot of times, so we need the public to, to be very mindful when they're going through work zones. We need to limit the distractions. We need to wear a seatbelt. We need to you know, not get behind the wheel when you're drinking and driving. These, these people are out here in these work zones working to make these roads safe for everybody, and we all need to be mindful of that. We all need to be mindful when we come across a work zone. If people have questions, like more information, which they do. Um, they can go to destinationzerodeaths.com and learn more information about work zone safety and what they can do individually and collectively to try and advance safety through work zones.